Oh, can you see a billy goat? <laughs> Animals that are mentally stimulated do better in captivity. They can cope with the added stresses of, of being in enclosures that are maybe not naturalistic in, in the sense of the wild world. Um, but they they actually they do really well in it because they're happier. Painting actually started with elephants because uh, the keepers at other zoos and at Zoo Atlanta kind of at the same time decided that they needed to find something to mentally stimulate the animals. So they thought, well, why not use that big long nose that can, has the fingers that, like projections at the end that they can hold a paintbrush and actually give them something to do. Our elephants began painting probably 17, 18 years ago. It was actually a, a pet project of a graduate student that was doing some cognition work here at the zoo. They all have different preferences for how they hold the brush. Some actually stick it up their trunk, some hold it sideways. They can swish the brush, they can um, go up and down, they can go side to side. And the elephants in particular really look at it and kind of study it. It's a very mental stimulation thing. So it gives them something to do that's outside the box. We haven't found a real preference for color yet though. And they all like the taste of paint. It's an enriching activity. There's the human-animal interaction going on, to a pretty close bond between the elephants and their handlers. They're getting food that they like as a result. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't see an elephant painting out on the savanna of Africa, but it's working their minds. They're extremely intelligent and social. So, you know, the opportunity to work for food and forage, if you will, kind of as they would in the wild, um, and interact with people that they're close to is, you know, kind of what we're striving for. Waiting for that brush mark. Good job. We've got a collection of about 23 different birds here at Zoo Atlanta, and we've got one bird, our African pied crow, who's very intelligent, and he needs a lot to keep him occupied. Now, crows as omnivores are pretty easy to reward. Sometimes we use crickets or mealworms, so we use fruits and vegetables. Today, he's getting some meat. A little bit more there, buddy. Good job. Awesome. Can I have you put it back in the bowl? Back in the bowl. Some of our birds, like crows, sometimes have ne negative stereotypes. And what we really want to do is let people know that they're actually very resourceful and inventive animals. And we really want to um, hopefully have people walk away with a little richer, deeper, maybe more educated attitude about the animals that they see at the zoo. And we really think that painting does that. Um, it's a way that, that we can hopefully cross the bridge. We can make our animals ambassadors, and that's our goal. Hey, one more. All right, I think we're about as done as we're going to be. Let's take a look here, Onyx. Let's look at your painting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.